uh, honorable vice chancellor of uh, Solapur University, Pandavis Madam, all other honorable vice chancellors who have joined this elite group. Uh, informal, out of box thinking individuals type. एक इनफॉर्मल जरिया अपन अक्टा वर्चुअल स्थिति में दयास्लो तरी सुधा आ यह चमड़े दोन तीन एडिशन झाले तो अने प्रत्येक वर्ष से ताम चमना में दे विचार साला कि एक प्रत्येक चाय पे चर्चा झाले अंतर कई एक्शनेबल प्लान आप लला करता ही इल्का हाँ विचार पुड़े आला आनी गेला वेल चा डिस्कशन अंतर अमी तो आशा इस पद्धति ने आपले ला संपूर्ण हाईर एजुकेशन चा व्यवस्थेला कई डायरेक्शन देता ही लगा कि जेने करूँ कई सूत्र इका मधुन निगेल अनेक या सूत्र तुन जी प्रत्येक चर्चा हुई इंतज़ा चर्चे चा अंताला तंचा एक्सपर्ट्स एकत्रित किए उन कई एक छोटा सा गाइडलाइन टाइप कई कार्यता ही लगा सामचा त्यांनी आता गाइडलाइन तयार केले आणि ज्या गाइडलाइन आपण सगळ्या विद्यापीठांना आणि महाविद्यालयांकडे पाठवणार आहोत अपेक्षा ही पण आहे की आता जसं आज आपण स्किल या विषयावरती बोलतो तर यामध्ये जे प्रयोग सोलापूर विद्यापीठाने केले इतर विद्यापीठे सुद्धा आपल्या माध्यमातून सांगतील की आम्ही काय केले नवीन त्याचा एकत्रित विचार करून ह्या सगळ्याचा विचार एक सोलो काहीतरी आयसोलेशन मध्ये आपण विचार करतोय असं न होता अपन एकत्रित विचार करूँ जे इतरा नहीं चंगल के लेते आप लला करता है नहीं योग्य आहे का अने आप लला व्यवस्थे में दे अने आप लला परिस्थिति में दे तल आप लला सामान्य गेता ये लगा अशा पद्धति सा एक इनफॉर्मल डिस्कशन सा हाँ पोरम है अने गेला तीन चार मीटिंग्स में दे खरोखर चंगली चर्चा या सगाया जैसा आपन महाराष्ट्र स्टेट फैकल्टी डेवलपमेंट एकेडमी चा मतीनी एक सेंटर ऑफ नेटवर्किंग अशा वेगर सेंटर कार्ड है जहाँ मधे आपन आइसोलेशन मधे साइलोज मधे जी काम करता हो ते न होता एक एक वैचारिक व्यासपीठ ऐसा हो अने एक तरह से नेटवर्क तैयार हुआ हो लाइक माइंडेड लोकांश जिन्हें करुन जेजे � सो आशा माध्यम तुम विचार करूँ हाँ एक फोरम अपन गठित किया है आणि आज ये चुक संपूर्ण ये चीज सूत्र पढ़ने में इस मैडम ने गेट ले लिया है आणि तैनी जिस स्किल चे संबंध लगते प्रयोग के लिए तो चल विषय तो आप लोग सांगना रहे आणि त्याज बरो बरो इतरी वाइस चांसलर जे ज्वाइंट्स हाले ले माध्यमातून मानता ये तो का ऐसा प्रयास है मालूम उठा हरो हरो है अधिक सघन होत जाए अधिक व्यापक चर्चा है चावर्ती होए आणि जे नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी में दे आज जे मंडले ते एब्स्ट्रैक्ट है ते कसक करा हो आणि जे करता है तेंचा पढ़े कुंटे प्रश्न निर्माण जाले आणि ते प्रश्न कसे सोडवा � तो खड़खड़ाट बाजूला ठेवून मूल रोड़ा वर्ती आप लोग कशी व्यवस्था अंटा इन यह सब विचार यहाँ माध्यम तो नहीं हुआ आशा मलासाट या सगाया इंटरेक्शन सा हेतु है आ मैं आप लोग सर्व उपस्थित अंश मनापसुन स्वागत करतो माला महिती है सगाया वाइस चांसलर सा वेरे तिति महत्वाचा है अनेक त्या मुझे आमी वेला तो त्या मुले मलासाट की जास्तमी प्रस्ताविक न करता या संपूर्ण कार्यक्रम चीज सूत्र अनर्वल वाइस चांसलर सोलापुर विद्यापीठ यंचा कड़े सोपो तो आनी त्यान अंतर आपन सगल जन तेंसो प्रेजेंटेशन झाले अंतर या विषय ची चर्चा करुँया ये प्रत्येकल आपन बेवे दुँया जेने करुँन प्रत्येक अस मत मांटाइल मैडम प that uh, 
सोलापुर यूनिवर्सिटी पंडश्लोक अहिल्यादेवी होळकर सोलापूर युनिव्हर्सिटी इज द पार्ट ऑफ दिस ब्रेन स्टॉर्मिंग सेशन विच हॅज बीन ऑर्गनाइज बाय रुसा अँड द सोलापूर युनिव्हर्सिटी Uh, i hope that uh, this brainstorming will be useful as uh, dr joshi said uh, just now uh, the topic of uh, today's uh, discussion is skills as a lifeline for the community mala ithe asa sangav satta ki ithe all all honorable vice chancellor are here uh, and all other members of my university as well as rusa che sagle sanmananiya sadasya ahet i welcome them all मला असं वाटतं की या सगळ्यामध्ये आय थिंक यू कॅन सगळेजण पीपीटी पाहू शकतात हो मॅडम हो मॅडम आपली पीपीटी दिसते आहे सो नाव आय विल स्टार्ट माय प्रेझेंटेशन अगेन वन्स अगेन थँक्स टू निपुण सर जोशी सर अँड पाब्रेकर सर फॉर दिस वंडरफुल ऑपॉर्च्युनिटी मला इथे असं सांगायचंय की देर आर थ्री सेक्शन ऑफ दिस पर्टिक्युलर टॉपिक द स्किल लाईफ लाईन अँड कम्युनिटी डेव्हलपमेंट वाय वी हॅव टेकन दिस पर्टिक्युलर टॉपिक बिकॉज सी स्किल्स फ्रॉम मेनी इयर्स वी कॅन से इट इज इन दी लाईम लाईट ऑफ व्हेरियस एज्युकेशनल इन्स्टिट्यूशन बट इन टू थाउजंड फोर टू टू थाउजंड सिक्स इन यु जी सी हॅज गिवन लॉट ऑफ एम्फेसिस ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एडॉन कोर्सेस एडॉन हा असा शब्द होता ज्याच्यामधन आपण हळूहळू आलो अँड देन वी हॅव मूव्ह टू दी स्किल कोर्सेस द्या स्किल कोर्सेस च मागच्या पाच वर्षांपासून इट हॅज लिटरली इम्प्रूव्ह द लॉट इट हॅज बिकम अ बजवर्ड ऍज वेल एज वी कॅन से इट इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टंट फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्ह्यू ऑफ द न्यू एज्युकेशन पॉलिसी विच हॅज बीन व्हेरी राईटली सेट दॅट वी हॅव टू अडॉप्ट इन सच अ वे सो दॅट अवर ऑल स्टेक होल्डर्स कॅन बिकम अ व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट सिस्टम of our higher education mag lifeline is the another word ha word yacha karta ami ghetla hai because we have tried to accommodate lot of stakeholders from the community and that's why they have uh, been uh, indulging in various activities and they have become the part and parcel of this higher education system and then community development is again a issue which is uh, why it is important because uh, it is not only that the students of the particular area is uh, entering in this field Uh, various stakeholders like maybe they are from industrialist or from any field you can say they are uh, the part of the higher education of our university so uh, this was the idea next uh, and uh, the next part which is uh, related to uh, raut sir next yeah uh, in this we have uh, planned the approach that uh, why this skill development center is needed it will definitely bring uh, better self esteem self confidence leadership skills and uh, these uh, are not only the important words but these are the words which is very necessary for the development of human resource and therefore this was our first approach another part definitely when we are giving something additional input it will uh, increase the performance level as well as Uh, people will get the idea for like uh, going for own business startups spin offs or maybe like a uh, going for the by products these are the things which is very important from the point of view of understanding why this center is needed and entire this process we have started in uh 2018 july and little we are ahead of uh, this new education policy but they are uh, it is uh, making like a, a you know wonderful activity for uh, different type of stakeholders naturally we are also promising them to give the certificate and diplomas in the course of this education on this basis we have uh, moved to such areas where uh, as i have said uh, we have a combination of now industrialist Uh, there are global players in solapur later on I'll, i'll also explain that educationists are always there some politicians has also joined and our administration is very much a part and parcel of this particular center next then uh, uh, this is uh, also uh, the issue that what is the need and considering the need of the nation as such we are all the part of uh, different higher education system and we are moving towards the nation building so considering the other uh, countries like you can say the na uh, singapore then malaysia korea china you can take a small country or a, uh, in a big country developed country or developing country 
they have around 73 to 75 percent of skilled manpower in their country at present we have only 12 to 13 percent skilled manpower and therefore this is a big challenge for all of us to make more better skill uh, personalities in the country and therefore um, uh, from our universities and especially my university i thought that we can contribute a little bit if that much we can give, I think that will be a good consideration for the educational development. So this is a changing educational scenario, as well as the uh, career growth and opportunities are many because uh, many people uh, are getting opportunities, not only from the point of, uh, of getting the degree, but additional skill, additional, you know, the knowledge or the passion which they have, they can explore that. Then same, it has come with the nurturing talent. If you, every person has a talent. So again, uh, the passion, if you have the knowledge, you have the uh, particular consideration for a particular liking you have. So in that it can be developed and naturally it will give more scope for the employability, productivity and placements. Next. So uh, we have now different, uh, you can say, uh, the strength which I would like to say in Solapur and that we want to uh, attach with uh, this skill development center. And this has become our best practice. So what we did, we have a very good medical hub and therefore uh, with various uh, discussions with the doctors, they always say that a uh, lot of support from uh, like a reputed institution like universities we should have for allied health sciences so that uh, we have taken into consideration then human resource we have a good human resource lot of uh, old colleges and uh, industries and other areas they are working very well so why not to consider that human resource for much more better development of skills then agriculture sector we have very good agriculture sector from the point of view of the commercial commercial uh, crops, you can say like uh, pomegranate, then uh, we have uh, this uh, uh, sugarcane, uh, then jawar is also there, which is of a very high uh, nutritive value. So we can work on that also. And uh, as uh, I think all know that this area is very well known for handloom and power loom industry, especially handloom, because earlier it is known as the Manchester of India. So that part also we have taken care in later uh, slides, I will tell you. And we have also now very good transportation facilities. Next. So this has become a best practice and therefore I can say now we are having 132 skill development programs which comprises of uh, paramedical, allied health science, technical, commerce and management, computer, uh, traditional uh, sectors as well and agriculture. So we have a lot of uh, now MOUs that, all, that, uh, that will also explain later on. But most important part that we have tried to accommodate uh, the uh, sections which was left out, deprived from the higher education, they have also joined. And those who are present over here at the, uh, at the moment, those who are students or alumni, they are also part of this particular center. Now we have different type of courses of three months, six months. Later on also, I will discuss upon it. Next. Uh, then uh, the implements, what exactly we try to do that a lot of training, execution, internship, apprenticeship, all these things we have tried to inculcate in the pockets of this uh, area. That, uh, that uh, table I will show us after some time. Of course, certification is there and industry need various type of such courses. So what is their demand? What exactly they need? On that basis, we have developed different workshops then motivational seminars and special lectures, uh, even the job fairs that has become uh, very important to blend with all the thoughts of the universities as well as the other stakeholders. Next. Uh, the aim uh, was very clear that we have a skill-based training for youth and interested people. People, We have not only considered our university, but uh, from the community as the, our title also says about the same thing. And definitely it will give boost to the business, employment, self-employment, entrepreneurship, and et cetera. Next. Then we have some objectives, all I will not read it out, but I would like to tell you that this is an association now between the university and different type of sectors, that is the mutual needs, we are able to uh, now uh, cover it. And the other thing that 
some disadvantaged groups, deprived groups, women, economically poor, poor uh, in, uh, independents, they have become the part of this particular section. Then affiliated college of uh, my university, they have also become the part of this uh, entire system. And that also I will explain in next uh, slide, next. Uh, then this is the logo which we have made. It has all these points which we have covered. You start from anywhere. You take like learning, you will move to the circle. You take competence, again, you can move to the circle, which covers everything because it is entire one part which we have to cover in the skill development center. Next. Uh, we have also thought of this curiosity and creativity because uh, it is always a question mark that uh, what uh, we have a lot of creativity, how to place before, before uh, our own development or the society's development. So this uh, particular thing also got the room for uh, this uh, type of activity. Next. Then uh, there are some glimpses of uh, the skill development center. The first one is uh, like this is our office. Second is a paramedical center where the training uh, has been given for therapeutic nutrition and allow this allied health science some yoga section is uh, has been displayed next. Then uh, I would like to say the course pattern or design which we have made that is 70% practical uh, is, uh, component has been given in the syllabus and 30% theory. And the re revision every third year we are re revising this. Uh, now we are uh, actually in the fourth year of all this system. Then uh, different type of uh, employment oriented education if you want to carry out with this 70% or the 30% component that we are also looking for that. Then conduct of the regular examination evaluation is also the part and most important thing the local regional companies and whatever the dissemination of the education system through this method that we have tried to do next uh, this is our organizational structure next uh, this is the overview which I would like to focus that, see, because of this activity, uh, 20 uh, private institutes out of 59, they are the part and parcel of our university. And as I have told that 132 courses we are already running. Next. Then uh, uh, we have some rules and criteria which uh, we have formed a policy of uh, uh, this uh, skill development uh, in that uh, what we thought because we are focusing more upon the paramedical courses, uh, we have got registration with the Bombay Nursing Act uh, in, in that various doctors has helped us a lot in this particular system. And another for a general criteria, this is also very important part that uh, those who have completed at least minimum two years, NGOs and they want to register with us, but we want to tell at least don't worship the Tumche audit If that criteria is fulfilled, then it is good. And uh, then uh, uh, that is obligatory that all the conditions of university they're supposed to follow. Next. Then uh, affiliation fee. It is very meager, as you can say, it's not very high. And that's why we can uh, able to accommodate a lot of stakeholders. Only 25% of the share of the fees is retained in the university. Next. Then uh, uh, this eligibility criteria actually it is open for all, I should say, not only from the university, it is coming from different parts of the uh, sections of the society. Even for some courses, there is a 10th pass, but most of the courses, it is 12th pass qualification we have kept. Like for agro-tourism, we have uh, kept uh, 10th pass and we have got wonderful results in that. Then the regular students also can become a part and parcel of this because of this more moderate uh, fee structure and affordability, a lot of students have joined with us. We are also getting the opportunity to also see to accommodate dropouts. And this is also a uh, non-detachment. As I have said earlier. And it is again one part the demand-based course. Suppose somebody is suggesting now a lot of people are uh, coming every day, some or the other activity is happening with the outside stakeholder. demand. Suppose take a course of the uh, Western dance or the classical Indian dance, that is also entering along with some very high level course, which is related to genetic engineering or like Next. 
then uh, we have uh, this uh, duration, different type of durations, as I have uh, already said in one of the slides. Uh, you will see that la large number of courses has been opened for six months courses, uh, six months side course as well as such demand just that. Ata zar calculate kela, I mean, the seventy percent of the people of in and around Solapur and even outside Sol Solapur, they are more focusing on, on this six months course. Amala hats pay jay course because maybe they are getting lot of benefits when I. Tell my outcome that time you will come to know next. Then uh, these are the uh, some of the courses which uh, I would like to just tell you that how we have made the arrangement like the number of papers we have identified, but that's a nature kaya hai, then some of the hours which we have given and then credits. This system is more or more or less or almost it is based upon the UGC pattern. And we are trying to see that they should get the very qualitative sort of, uh, you know, syllabus as well as the teaching learning process, even innovative teaching learning process has also been adopted for overall teaching. Next. Then uh, distribution of courses, uh, again, here you can see the traditional courses. Traditional courses means like the typically, which is uh, going on in a, uh, from years together, they, they are also, of course, in demand. But as you, you can see the paramedical courses, which is we have taken a lot of efforts for that, uh, it has been come out in a very good shape. And MOUs has also been uh, recovered in a, uh, in a continuous basis. So as I have already telling you that because of all these setups, industrial and corporate areas are the part and parcel of this. And syllabus has been discussed many times, has been finalized because of uh, the such experts. Now we are also trying to uh, adopt a pattern of National Skill Development Center, some part we have already adopted. Next. Then uh, this is just a, a pie diagram to uh, make it more clear ideas. Next. Uh, then I would like to say that uh, this is overall growth we have followed. And in the latest, uh, as uh, you can say, the growth is constantly there, but it is more focused from 2017-18. Next. Then uh, just I wanted to tell you the very remarkable thing over here that we have 59 institutes, those who are registered with us, and 132 courses in these 59 uh, institutes it has been running. This is the latest information just I would like to share with you. Next. These are some of the glimpses here. I would like to draw your attention that this course is uh, with this CSR fund, uh, which has been taken care by one of the global player of the Solapur University that is known as the Precision Group. And they have uh, held, they are helping us for the nursing courses. So uh, the best part of this course is uh, whatever the, the student's requirement is there, it is all fulfilled by this particular uh, in this particular CSR activity, their training, their food, their uh, whatever the fees is there, if they want to stay in the hostel, whatever is there, everything is covered with this activity. That's why the girls are being highly benefited and uh, good uh, human resource we can able to supply to the uh, different type of uh, medical sectors over in the Solapur and nearby areas as well. Next. Then uh, just I would like to say uh, out of these uh, 59 uh, colleges, hospital and institute, we can able to give uh, this benefit to 6,342 students. Out of that, 3681 are the female students, 2661 are the male students. And uh, more or less, it is the inclination of the female students are more towards this particular center. Next. Now, uh, here are some glimpses of uh, the guest lectures, I would like to say, maybe it is a paramedical or any other course, uh, especially in paramedical, I would like to say that the specialized doctors, they are uh, very much uh, happy with these courses because they used to suggest us also that, see, if it is only 18, 20% doctors are there, it's okay. But we need a huge gang of uh, allied uh, health science personalities, those who are trained. And if you are getting a good certification, good training from the university, it is nothing like that. So they are also involved. They are taking keen interest. They are uh, organizing some special lectures uh, for the development of these resources, these human resources. Next. 
then these uh, this is some of the idea which i wanted to give you that in urban rural uh, areas we are running these courses rural areas are also coming in a very good shape there also you can see the women students are making more effort women students from the rural areas they are coming in a you know more in demand for these type of courses next uh, here i would like to say if you, uh, if you can understand the male female Yes, the growth of uh, female students is much higher. The number you can also see very clearly over here. Next. Then uh, this is uh, the gender empowerment because when I'm talking about the women uh, uh, development and their interest, uh, so all the skill courses, uh, the bend towards uh, uh, the courses which is related to the rural development, the paramedical, the traditional courses, female student to students has been uh, enrolled in a higher number and they are getting job opportunities in hospitals, in yoga centers, in acupressure. Acupressure is one of our very important area that also some of the glimpses i will show it to you that has been uh, highly in demand and the family members that is very important when we are talking about the community family members are very much happy that in a uh, six months or the one year course their uh, uh, child is getting very good training and for short term courses they are ready to send uh, their children for the education next then these are the some of the glimpses. There is one or more specialty that uh, different type of courses where uh, what we are running, especially those who are with the gender empowerment, they are running in five languages like Hindi, Marathi, English, Urdu, and Kannada because uh, this is the adjoining area to the Karnataka and a lot of uh, such language speaking people are there. So that's why the enrollment of the girl students has increased. Next. Then uh, we have the examination, then definitely in COVID period, it is online. But uh, still, we have tried to make some batches of 5, 5, 10, 10 students for practical and uh, like a blended mode. And uh, of course, with the online examination, we're able to cover it. Next. Even the female students have got very good uh, results in this. That later on, I will sh show it to you. Uh, this is the pattern of the examination where uh, per paper 100 marks are there. In the theory, 80 marks is there. Passing is 32. Internal, 20 is there. 8 is passing. Practical, a uh, little more passing marks we have taken because this is the more, most important part of the any skill development. So this type of uh, mark statement we have made. Next. Then uh, this is uh, just uh, showing uh, it to you, highlighting few things that we, we have got a very good success rate, 76.08 students have cleared their examination during these years. And uh, again, I would like to tell that uh, passing percentages of, of women is more compared to the um, men over here. Next, we also take re-examination. Now, yes, yeah, these are the some glimpses of MOUs. Here, I would like to draw your attention that uh, in IT sectors, some of the areas that I'll also again going to mention, many companies, those who are uh, belong to the digital areas, they are also paying forward to have MOUs with us. And we are we can able to correlate with uh, uh, areas like uh, food uh, uh, collection centers. There are some food collection centers, the wastage, the wastage are the food, sir, that type of people have come and they have uh, now made uh, made a course as well as some system to understand uh, that students should be involved in uh, this uh, particular area uh, and uh, that has been associated with the MBA as well as the commerce department and even other sections are also been the part of this next then uh, some of the courses which I have listed over here just wanted to tell you that uh, courses like acupressure, self-defense, fashion designing, they are much in demand. Next. Uh, there are other courses also uh, for which I'm going to tell, uh, tell you in next slide. They are of a unique in nature. Next. Uh, just here I would, I would like to tell you, एक पूर्ण भारतामध्ये अमचा अच्छा मतलब बार्शी नावाचे तालुका है, and there we are running a railway engineering college, UG से जे एक कमे वा सेंटर भारतामध्ये आहे. So this is the uniqueness, and for them we have suggested different uh, diploma courses. They have done MOU. 
for uh, this uh, SDC as well as the incubation center promotion activities. And in this a lot of students are getting better job opportunities. So they have become part and parcel of our uh, this uh, skill development programs. As a second uniqueness railway, data science and machine learning. Yeah, course lot to the demand uh, in uh, in first year itself we have uh, got a tremendous uh, uh, you can say the intake and that's a fayda asa hoto hai ki amala second kadachit ki ankin pude that's a batch shuru karavi lagnar hai similarly cyber security rti agrotourism he sagle sections ahe jacha madhe jasti jast lokanna ta interest vatal lagalela hai this is something unique next Agro-tourism मधे कहीं क्षेत्र करे नहीं देखे लम्ब चकड़े admission गेट लिया थे एंड टेंशन करे तनी tourism sector शुरू के ले अता university campus मधे पन twenty one skill courses चालू आए they are running under the same center and therefore these courses are uh, definitely useful for the PG uh, PG students आनी तनचा reference थी पन कोडी ये तसल ते we are uh, giving this room for uh, such type of interested people अता तेचा बरोबर हम जस ओबर जे industry आहे इतर uh, companies आहे they are also working and थोड़ो हरु हरु ये ला internship कडे आमी कसन ये तो ये तस पन plan अमी uh, already हम चा कडे आहे with the help of incubation center as well as uh, with this center also अनि ये चतना हमारे employability rate certificate course in anchoring, certificate course in documentary, short film making, video making, tele ERP 9, as well as acupressure, acting skills, demand. This is comparatively more. Environmental informatics point yacha madhe yeta hai. Next. Uh, ya nantar ami uh, mala ata yacha madhe sange chhe. Now this outcome I am uh, trying to tell you within five to seven minutes I will uh, tell you. Uh, ya sirya purcha goshti ki ahe uh, mala kasa karela ki it is going good. So you can see. सर्वात जास्त जॉब्स चर कोणाला लागले तर ते प्राइवेट सेक्टर लागले हे लोक जे सगळे शिकले याच्यात ना प्राइवेट सेक्टर्स मधन यांना कॉल जास्त आहे दे आर 41% बाकी आपण बघता सहा पण तुम्हाला कुठेतरी हो हाउस मेकर होम मेकर असं हा फोर्थ नंबर वर दिसेल त्याच्यावर ना यू विल एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड की 8% आहे ह्या जरी घरी असल्या बायका तरी यांना Employment का second क्या चाहते हैं ना employability skill वाढ़ ली है ना वाट्टे हमें कहते हैं करुषा को कहीं वह करता है कहीं मग घरी थमता है आने पर तो आप लोग कहीं लोग का नाम चकड़े पाठ होता है ऐसा पढ़ा एक महत्वाचार रोल है so this is a fourth column is little unique वो नहीं मैं जरा highlight करते हैं बाकी तक गोष्टिन में देतना jobs में तो चाहे next uh, याचा नंतर मला फक्त इथे एवढं सांगायचं की कोविड पीरियड मध्ये आम्हाला पॅरामेडिकल कोर्स एस वी ऑल नो टेक्निकल कोर्स यांचा खूप सपोर्ट आला एक्युपेशन uh, आणि योगा हॅज बिकम लाइक अ व्हेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऍक्टिव्हिटी ऑफ आवर कॅम्पस आम्हाला बाहेरूनी याच्यामध्ये भरपूर विचारला जातो तर तसे एमओयूज वाढत होते नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट याच्यामध्ये एकस फक्त एकस विद्यार्थ्याचं मी करून दाखवतो फर्स्ट डिजिटल जर्नलिझमचं घ्या कॅन यू हियर एव्हरीवन कॅन हियर दिस वॉइस अच्छा हां हां राहुल सर येत आहे का स्किल डेव्हलपमेंट विभागामार्फत आता आता यायला लागलाय ओके ओके हां करलेल्या डिजिटल जर्नलिझमचा मी एक माजी विद्यार्थी आहे डिजिटल जर्नलिजम चाहे माध्यम तून मैं जवा विद्या बिठा एडमिशन निकले होते थे वहाँ मतलब बरस का ही या कोर्स चाहे माध्यम तून शिकार है मेरा लो पिटूशी कशी मारा ही ची कैमरा कैसा हैंडल करें सा काइन मास्टर वाला वीडियो कशी अपलोड करें ची आशे बरस तांत्रिक वाबी मला पुनिश लोग ऐले ने भोलकर सुलापुर व Thank you. आता याच्या मध्ये मला सांगायचं आहे की असं पेपर मीडिया कव्हरेज हे मला खूप मिळाला कोविड वॉरियर्स चा करता जास्त फायदा लोकांना जो दिसला त्याच्यातना कव्हरेज झाला खाली तुम्ही डिजिटल आणि अँकरिंग चं बघताय वी आर हॅविंग व्हेरी गुड मीडिया स्टुडिओ असं मानले जातं आमचे जे जर्नलिस्ट फ्रेंड्स आहेत इट इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट इन एंटायर दिस एरिया त्याच्यामुळे हा 
महत्वाचा भाग आहे आणि वरच्या भागामध्ये मी जे तुम्ही बघता आहात त्याच्यामध्ये आम्हाला एक सायंटिफिक स्तराचं पण विद्यार्थ्यांना ट्रेनिंग देता येतं ज्याच्यामध्ये फूड अनालिसिस ड्रग अनालिसिस अशा अनेक प्रकार त्याचा पुढे मी थोडस एलॉबरेशन एक दोन मिनिटात करणार आहे नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट आता याची आउटकम दिस इज आय थिंक मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट पार्ट आहे की टोटल आतापर्यंत आपण सिक्स थाउजंड ट्वेंटी थ्री स्टुडंट्स जे एस्पायरंट आहे त्यांना हे ट्रेनिंग दिलेलं आहे ऍज आय हॅव सेड फिमेल स्टुडंट्सना याचा फायदा आहे स्किल्ड ह्युमन रिसोर्स हे हळूहळू लोकल इंडस्ट्रीला सोलापूरमध्ये मिळायला लागलंय पॅरामेडिकल इज ऑफकोर्स वी हॅव अ व्हेरी गुड बॉन्डिंग विथ डिफरंट टाईप ऑफ मे बी हा तुमचा गव्हर्नमेंट मेडिकल कॉलेज असेल किंवा प्रायव्हेट असेल त्याचा संबंध येतोय आणि युथ इट इज लिटल मे बी अभि खूप फास्ट तर नाही म्हणू शकत पण युथ हा बिझनेस करता हळूहळू मोटिवेट होतोय मूव्ह पण होतोय नेक्स्ट याच्यानंतर हे जे काही आउटकम आहे याच्यामध्ये एक दोनच मी हायलाइट करते आहे की दिस स्किल कोर्सेस इज डेफिनेटली वन फर्स्ट पार्ट यू नीड टू जस्ट आय वॉन्ट टू हायलाइट दॅट की इट हॅव वी हॅव रिड्यूस द मायग्रेशन पीपल आर नॉट मुव्हिंग फ्रॉम सोलापूर बिकॉज वॉट एव्हर दे वॉन्ट दे आर गेटिंग इन द युनिव्हर्सिटी असा आमचा जर आम्ही मायग्रेशन पाहिलं तर हा थर्टी टू थर्टी फायव्ह पर्सेंट या याच्यामुळे झालाय अँड दॅट टाईप ऑफ फीडबॅक वी हॅव रिसिव्ह फ्रॉम द स्टुडंट्स कम्युनिटी ऍज आय हॅव ऑलरेडी सेट त्याच्यानंतर याच्यामधनं आपल्याला असं लक्षात येतं की जे फक्त हे सर्टिफिकेशन करता नाही याच्यातनं जे आउटपुट निघत आहे त्याच्यातनं दे आर अक्वायरिंग सम पोझिशन इन दी कम्युनिटी दॅट इज मोर इम्पॉर्टंट नेक्स्ट देन आता आम्हाला इथे सांगायचं एक सर्वात मोठा जो बेनिफिट याच्यामध्ये आम्हाला दिसतो आहे तो असा आहे की आम्ही या तीन वर्षामध्ये आय एम नॉट टेकिंग आय हॅव रिटर्न फॉर फायव्ह इयर्स बट थ्री इन थ्री इयर्स वी गॉट अराउंड एट्टी लॅक्स एटी थ्री थाउजंड दिस टाईप ऑफ अमाऊंट ऍज अ रेव्हेन्यू ऍज वी आर चार्जिंग व्हेरी लेस फ्रॉम द स्टुडंट स्टील वी गॉट दिस थिंग आणि या वर्षीचे ऍडमिशन जे आता झाले त्याच्यातनं वी आर टचिंग वन करोर सो दिस इज द रेव्हेन्यू जनरेटेड फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिक्युलर ऍक्टिव्हिटी नेक्स्ट आता याच्यामध्ये एक छोटस फक्त आम्ही एक मला वाटत सर्टिफिकेट इन योगा किंवा मी प्रगती संदीप बाळी सध्या योगा टीचर म्हणून काम करत आहे योगा टीचर बनण्यामागे सोलापूर युनिव्हर्सिटीचा खूप मोठा वाटा आहे सोलापूर युनिव्हर्सिटीने दोन हजार अठरा साली डिप्लोमा इन योगा टीचर ट्रेनिंग हा कोर्स काढला होता त्याच्यामध्ये मी ऍडमिशन घेतलं होतं डिप्लोमाला ऍडमिशन घेतल्यानंतर योगाची संपूर्ण ओळख आम्हाला झाली वेद उपनिषद सहित आधुनिक योग पद्धती समजल्या आजारांवरती योगोपचार समजले संस्कृत श्लोकचे उच्चारण समजले योग शिक्षण ओके नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट स्लाइड सर नमस्कार मी प्रगती सर नेक्स्ट स्लाइड Yeah, this is our handloom unit. As I have told you that uh, our students have literally learned a lot. This is a very typical handloom unit we have established in the university. Next. हे एक कॉलेज एफिलिएटेड आहे त्यांच्याकडे हे चालतात जसं आम्ही सांगितलं की भरपूर कॉलेजेस आता पुढे आले सतरा कॉलेजेस मी घेतलंय दिस इज वन ऑफ द ग्लिम्सेस ऑफ वन कॉलेज नेक्स्ट याच्यानंतर दिस आय वॉज ट्राईंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू हे आमच्याकडे सायंटिफिक इन्स्ट्रुमेंटेशन सेंटर आहे हे रुसानी स्पेशली मला सांगायचं याच्याकरता भरपूर आम्हाला मदत केली आहे दॅट इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट पार्ट आणि याचा फायदा आम्ही असं केलाय की याच्यावर एक स्किल डेव्हलपमेंट कोर्स काढलाय हे जे स्टुडंट्स आपल्याला दिसतात आहे हे जेव्हा एन सी एल वगैरे मध्ये जातात किंवा इंडस्ट्रीमध्ये जातात तर त्यांना विदाऊट ट्रेनिंग डायरेक्ट रिक्रुटमेंट मिळत आहे दिस इज दी मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट आउटकम ऑफ अवर एन्टायर दिस प्रॅक्टिस नेक्स्ट हे काही ग्लिम्सेस आहे ज्याच्यामध्ये आम्ही सर्टिफिकेशन केलं नेक्स्ट अक्युप्रेशरला अत्यंत याच्या हा दिस इज अग्रो टुरिझम ग्लिम्सेस याच्यामध्ये आम्ही कोर्स तर चालवतोच त्याच्याबरोबर आमच्या काही हुरडा पार्टीज वगैरे कशा चांगल्या होऊ शकतात इव्हन इनफॅक्ट वी आर ऑल्सो एन्जॉईंग दॅट पर्टिक्युलर एरिया अँड इट हॅज कम अंडर दिस सिक्स मंथ डिप्लोमा कोर्स नेक्स्ट हे काही आमचे ग्लिम्सेस आहे याच्यामध्ये आम्ही जेव्हा अक्युप्रेशर आणि न्यूट्रिशन वर्कशॉप घेतले तर आम्हाला असं सांगण्यात आलं की आपण एक आजाराच्या बद्दल तर भरपूर निदान करून घेतो पण त्याच्यानंतर न्यूट्रिशन कसं महत्वाचं आहे आणि म्हणून आम्ही त्याला थेरापेटिक न्यूट्रिशन देऊन हा कोर्स सुरू केलेला आहे दॅट हॅज गेन्ड अ लॉट ऑफ यू कॅन सी द सिनर्जी फ्रॉम डिफरंट टाईप ऑफ पॉकेट्स आमच्याकडे बाहेरचे पण आउट ऑफ सोलापूर सुद्धा भरपूर स्टुडंट्स याच्यामध्ये ऍडमिशन घेत आहेत नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट या 
हे आमचे काही आहे ज्याच्यामध्ये मी तुम्हाला सांगितलं की या सगळ्या गोष्टी हळूहळू आमच्या विद्यापीठामध्ये वाढत आहेत या पुढे घ्या आता आम्ही काय केलं की लास्ट इयरचं जे आहे म्हणजे बटवन सर मागे झाल आपला जो बटवन सेमिस्टर आहे त्याच्यामध्ये आम्ही फिफ्थ सेमिस्टर असेल किंवा सिक्स लास्ट असेल किंवा जो कुठला लास्ट किंवा बटवन असेल त्याच्यामध्ये आम्ही हे बंधनकारक केलेलं आहे पण असं बंधनकारक केलंय की त्यांना समजवून आणि याचा फायदा काय मिळेल कारण की यामध्ये आम्ही आता पोचलेलो आहोत जे योग प्रशिक्षक आहेत त्यांचे विशेष सत्कार वेगवेगळ्या संस्थेत पण होतात आहेत आणि त्यांना पण त्याच्यामध्ये चालना मिळते नेक्स्ट ही आमची एक डिजिटल सिस्टम आहे सगळं ऑनलाईन आहे दिस इज द पोर्टल विच वी हॅव डेव्हलप त्याच्यामध्ये सगळ्या प्रकारे भरल्या जातो स्टुडंट्सला छोट्या मोठ्या कामाकरता विद्यापीठात येण्याची गरज नाही दे कॅन ऍक्सेस फ्रॉम अवर सिस्टम आणि याच्यातनं हा फायदा भरपूर स्टुडंट्स घेत आहेत सो थँक्यू व्हेरी मच फॉर माय प्रेझेंटेशन इज ओव्हर हिअर हा एक फक्त फ्युचर प्लॅनचा छोटासा स्लाईड असा आहे की आम्ही ऍज आय हॅव टोल्ड यू दॅट नॅशनल स्किल डेव्हलपमेंट सेंटर आता हे जे देशाचं आहे त्याच्या बऱ्याचशा ऍक्टिव्हिटीज आम्ही ह्या घेण्याचा प्रयत्न केलाय आम्ही एक क्लस्टर सेंटर पण पुढे याला घेतोय जास्तीत जास्त आम्ही आय टी सेक्टरमध्ये जसे आता आम्ही ऑलरेडी हुडूब त्याच्यानंतर आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजन्स मशीन लर्निंग हे सुरू केलंय त्याच्यामध्ये आणखीन पुढे जाण्याचा आमचा विचार आहे आणखीन जास्त आम्ही जॉब फेअर्स हॅकेथॉन आयडिया थॉन हे सगळे तयार करतो आहो आणि हळूहळू आम्ही अग्रिकल्चर आणि हॉस्पिटल मॅनेजमेंट या एरिया मध्ये हॉस्पिटल मॅनेजमेंटची डिमांड डॉक्टर कडनं आलेली आहे की तुम्ही तसा कोर्स घ्या आता आम्ही ह्याच्याकडे पुढे प्रयत्न करतोय सो विथ दिस थँक्यू व्हेरी मच पण माझे तीन अधिकारी याच्या सोबत आहे दे हॅव वर्क व्हेरी हार्ड विथ अलॉंग ऑल ऑफ अस तर त्यांना फक्त एक थोडा दोन दोन तीन तीन मिनिटं ते आपले एक्सपिरियन्स बोलणार आहे so i request uh, our coordinator dr prabhakar kolekar to share uh, uh, just he will uh, say extempore uh, his experience when he was working as in charge as well as what type of experience he have been uh, through establishment of this center so kolekar sir namaskar as i our vice chancellor madam said so many uh, extraordinary experiment experiment and experience we got from the sdc works i am from the history background and archaeology background but the student from the rural area and student from the urban area also interested into the skill oriented education so we provide the skill oriented education to the students uh, as well as the practical knowledge and uh, some innovative courses related to the uh, drug less therapy course just like the acupressure yoga and uh, uh, some of the courses related to the medical tourism Uh, so you, as we know the solapur is the medical hub so so many uh, patients from the uh, karnataka marathwada migrated to the solapur so we provide the uh, any uh, very uh, affordable fees regular courses to the students and just like we also uh, provide the C, uh, csr fund to the some of the institute just like the bc cal softel got the csr fund from the precision uh, industry and also we provide some uh, kind of innovative courses related to the anganwadi prashikshan kendra montessori teachers these are the courses related to the uh, women empowerment mala sangala anand vadto ki amcha vai sanstra madam alya pasun 132 courses ami we started 132 courses and uh, from next year we start, we will uh, we will be start the nst national skill quality framework related courses and uh, sign more and more mous with the industry and corporate sectors हे का महत्वाचं आहे तर याच्या मागचं कारण असं आहे की नवीन एज्युकेशन पॉलिसी बदलत चाललेली आहे आणि याच्यामध्ये मुलांचा इंटरेस्ट जो आहे तो छोट्या छोट्या कोर्स मधून रोजगार निर्मिती करणं असा आहे आणि इन्स्ट्रुमेंट सारखं एखादं जर आमच्याकडे रोसांनी माननीय काबरीकर सर इथं आहेत सर तुम्ही कल्चरल सुद्धा निगडीत होता आपल्याकडे फाईन आर्ट्स आणि कल्चरलचं डिपार्टमेंट सुरू केलं आहे मग ज्या मुलांना युथ फेस्टिवल मध्ये केल्यानंतर मुलं सर्टिफिकेट घेतात आणि घरी बसतात पण त्यासाठी म्हणून वी स्टार्टेड सम ऑफ द certificate and basic certificate course in dramatic certificate course in sogam sangeet these are the certificate course we offered by the skill development center ha ek mahatvacha course aapne offer karto hai and one more thing ki apan ek kaam karto hai ki bridge course cha sudha certificate course deto hai aapne yacha mule kay hote ki community amche shi jasta attach hote hai jithe jithe ami jato wherever we go to the uh, we deliver the lecture at that time they ask the about the skill development center konte navin courses tumhi adopt kelle ahet we provide the flexibility to the institutions apan flexibility deto इंडस्ट्री ओरिएंटेड आता शुगर इंडस्ट्री रिलेटेड आम्ही कोर्सेस सुरू करणार आहोत आम्ही कालच डेअरी मिल्क प्रोडक्शन आणि सेरिकल्चर संदर्भातले कोर्सेस सुद्धा आम्ही सुरू करायचा आम्ही विचार करतो आहोत दिस इज द युनिक एक्सपिरियन्स
experience for me because I am the student from the archaeology and history, but I am more interested to do, do this kind of work because of our vice chancellor, madam, and my colleague, Dr. Sirana Mahut, honorable uh, vice, uh, pro vice chancellor, Sarani uh, Moore, and Jagtap sir. So this is the unique experience for the student and uh, parents also give the support to us and develop the skill development center. आदरणीय कुलगुरु मैडम को सर भरपूर स्किल बदल संग एक दोन अनुभव फिर शेयर करू इच्छित एक तो आम जे पैरामेडिकल कोर्स सन्दर्भ में बोलते पैरामेडिकल कोर्स जो आम प्रकार है भरपूर ब्रेन स्टॉर्मिंग के इंडियन मेडिकल असोसिशन सोलापुर प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल ओनर्स असोसिशन लोक पर्सनली आम मीटिंग के मीटिंग मधन आम इनपुट्स घोलापुर कुछ कोर्सेस की डिमांड है हॉस्पिटल मध्य कुछ कोर्सेस लगता है जेव सिलस फॉर्मेशन की वे आई लोकान आउट ऑफ बॉक्स थिंकिंग कर लोकान इन्वॉल्व के सिलबस फॉर्मेशन मे जेनेकर प्रैक्टिकल जे अपेक्षित है करिकुलम मध्य गरजे है लोकान इन्वॉल्व के दुसरी महत्व की गोष है कि हम जी एंट्री लेवल क्वालिफिकेशन है ती अत्यंत मिनिम मिनिम है उदाहरणार्थ जो आम हेल्थ असिस्टंट का कोर्स है दावी पास कि नापास हा विद्या सुधा एडमिशन घू शो मिनिम बारावी पास मुल सुधा हेल्थ घू श एक अचीव कि जी मुल दावी फेल होती कि दावी नक्री बारावी का सोडल हि मुल पुनः शिक्षण प्रवाह आई जेनेकर ग्रॉस एनरोलमेंट जे है नवीन एज्युकेशन पॉलिसी मध्य संगित है तीसरा एक हाईलाइट असा होता कि एक, एक अनुभव आ कि बरसदा परीक्षक मन देखी आम जो आम्मी जेव मुला तोड़ी परीक्षा घतो विशेषतः पैरामेडिकल कोर्सेस तर त्या हॉस्पिटल मैनेजर एचआर मैनेजर परीक्षा संपता थामचार सर तुम्हें आज वाइवा घी मुल तुम आईडेंटिफाई नाव संगा परीक्षाइंट लेटर देता दिवसीय विदाउट वेटिंग फॉर देअर रिजल्ट हि एक फार मोटी अचीवमेंट आम स्किल डेवलपमेंट सेंटर की है मानते कारण लेवल एजुकेशन जे है एजुकेशन हॉस्पिटल मध्य मिलते कित्येक मोटे हॉस्पिटल है स्वखुशी ने मुला फी स्वत भरत कारण सोलापुर अत्यंत गरीब घर मुल इतना पांच हजार एवरी फी देखी परवड़ नहीं तो कित्येक हॉस्पिटल अहत कि मुला फी स्वत भरत ट्रेनिंग देता एवडस नहीं तो जॉब गैरंटी देता तीन की हाईलाइट जे है आम कोर्सेस मैं संगू इच्छित कि मैक्सिम एम्प्लॉयमेंट गैरंटी विशेषतः पैरामेडिकल सन्दर्भ में शंबर टक्के एम्प्लॉयमेंट गैरंटी है कारण पास कुछ ना कुछ जॉब लगते सद्या दुसर है जेन्डर एम्पॉवरमेंट कारण आम जे कहीं मुल एडमिशन मुल एडमिशन घता है मोर दैन टू थर्ड जे है मुल है हा मु सग्या अत्यंत गरीब घर मगसली भाग वगैरह आल एक रोजगार की संधि आम कोर्सेस ने उपलब्ध कर तीसर मे जे है अपलिफ्टमेंट ऑफ सोशली अनप्रिवलेज क्लास कारण आम जर मुला आढ़ावा घर जो सोशली अनप्रिवलेज क्लास है मुल जास्त कर कोर्सेस प्रवेश है एक नवीन संधि आम कोर्सेस ने उपलब्ध कर मटते कि आम्मी हा स्किल जो भाग है गे पांच वर्ष खूब आज है परंतु सोलापुर विद्यापीठ है एक पैला विद्यापीठ है कि जे तेज स्थापने पास दोन हजार सहा साला पास कोर्सेस चालवत आहोत परंतु गे पांच वर्षा जी संख्या जी है आम्मी ऑलमोस्ट तिप्टी ने वाढ़ी है चांगल प्रकार धन्यवाद थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल रिस्पेक्टेड विद अंडर दीडरशिप ऑर ऑनरेबल वाइस चांसलर मैडम वी आर दी सेंटर वेर वी रन दी बेसिक कोर्स ऑफ कॉम्प्यूटर एज वेल एज the high class uh, course of uh, information technology our objective with this sdc is that that we have just lower down the course structure those were the students who are migrating towards the pune and hyderabad we were kind enough to hold them in the sola city and offer them a you can say uh, high class uh, you can say uh, curriculum aspect as well as they are getting jobs as well so the thing that we uh, got to with the mncs or say the type of institute that we are having a tie up we want to lower down the fees because this is the university which works for the people of uh, a poor background who is not having enough money 
to go for go toward the hyderabad or say pune and to get a course over there so we are just offering the course with the affordable fees we have the immense response for office automation where people are actually in working likely to upgrade their skills and they can just uh, tie up with our hdc and can get the good knowledge with the recent versions of the software just like tally and all so really this is a good initiative taken by the university and uh, i actually appreciate the kind the effort taken by our honorable vice chancellor and the coordinator of this uh, sdc dr prabhakar kolekar sir with this thank you very much thank you thank you very much madam umcha abhinandan karan 132 courses 6000 vidyarthi ani jawal jawal 80 lakhache vidyapathala milnar utpanna mhanna nahi mi pan tya madhyamatun aplyala anek goshti karta yetil aplya madhe anek anek kuluguru ahet आणि जवळ जवळ बावीस प्रतिनिधी उपस्थित आहेत त्याच्यामध्ये आपण बिफोर वी गो फॉर द इंट्रॅक्शन ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ ऑल ऑफ अस लेट अस कॉन्ग्रॅच्युलेट प्रोफेसर बी एल महेश्वरी हु हॅज बीन रिसेंटली अपॉइंटेड द ऑनरेबल व्हाईस चान्सलर ऑफ कवी येथील बहिणाबाई चौधरी उत्तर महाराष्ट्र विद्यापीठ जळगाव त्यांचं स्वागत करूया आपल्या ह्या चर्चा सत्रामध्ये महेश्वरी सरांचं आणि त्याचबरोबर लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस अवर जॉईंट डायरेक्टर ऑफ महाराष्ट्र स्टेट फॅकल्टी डेव्हलपमेंट अकॅडमी अंजू उपल मॅडम तुम्ही आहात का अंजू उपल मॅडम इज शी इज दॉईंट डायरेक्टर ऑफ एम एस एफ डी एल ऑल्सो इन्व्हाइट टू गिव्ह सम प्रोग्राम वॉट वेट डू टू डू अंडर एम एस एफ डी ए बिफोर दॅट बिफोर बी इन्व्हाइट हर अँड विजय जोशी वी वुड लाईक टू इंटरॅक्टिव्ह सेशन नाव अँड आय आय रिक्वेस्ट द अदर व्हाईस चान्सलर्स हु आर प्रेझेंट ओव्हर हिअर to focus on what they are doing under skill development or they may have also interaction with the vice chancellor of solapur university thank you very much madam that you have given a good presentation on the skills uh, required for the community development thank yeah you. please proceed shall we shall we invite sir apan matlab ek ek karna bolva manje ap sagana chance milel ani don two okay 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 karan ya sagya madhe aplyala vichar mantan hona mahatvach hai to apan invite karu yes sir yes sir स्किलिंग विच यू प्रोवाइड इज डिफरंट दाइंड ऑफ होलिस्टिक स्किलिंग विच कॅन बी प्रोवाइडेड in the university like uh, solapur university which is having all the departments since our limit or limitation is only in the area of chemical sciences the kind of skilling which we provide is essentially related to laboratory setups so the kind of skilling which we do provide to our uh, support staff in gradation and the safety related to the lab related activities we also conduct a certificate course uh, which is uh, which is which is available not only to the students but also to the uh, non teaching staff uh, or support staff not limited to ict only but those who are interested in joining from mumbai university also we allow them to attend this because as far as we are concerned the skilling requirement is uh, related to safety in terms of running of a chemistry or chemical engineering or chemical synthesis lab this is point number 1 point number 2 e is the kind of skilling which we provide especially after the closure of workshop practices in all the engineering students we are now training student through our tinkering lab we have received a donation of 50 lakhs of rupees uh, for setting up a tinkering lab and that tinkering lab has already been initiated activity has been initiated where the basic fabrication related activities such as uh, lathe machine milling machine drilling machine welding machine gas cutting machine all these are being installed and students will be trained and they will be given a free hand the space which has been identified in developing a fabrication skills related to their own setups about 20 years ago we used to construct our own experimental setups with our own hands <coughs> but after the closure of workshop practices uh, now we are relying on fabrication facilities only from outside agencies as a result of which 
the hands on experience which is required whether whether it is simple electrification is concerned a simple fabrication is concerned simple carpentry is concerned or the work which we do especially in glass blowing is concerned all these uh, i mean are the skill set which we require and gradually one by one we want to bring in what was earlier present and has been removed in the past 10 15 years because of the changing syllabi especially in in chemical engineering curricula and my plan or our plan as ict is concerned is in next 5 years time we will have chemical engineers coming out of it or technologists coming out of it who have the capability of doing things with their hand and the third aspect which we are doing is in terms of skilling is of course related to ai ml because of uh, the design part which includes the usage of computer softwares in terms of training of these softwares which are becoming more and more sophisticated and do require significant amount of training the skill for the usage of ready made softwares which are available for the design of chemical engineering equipments and the modifications equally uh, responsible for contributing to the open foam which is a open source sort software which is available where people can develop their own software and add it to the existing software which is available and that's how the software grows and it is available for open uh, software mode so we have a 64 bit uh, parallel processing unit on which we are training students uh, to develop these kind of a parallel processing skills as well as skills related to ai ml which eventually will be utilized for uh, for design purposes especially in the area of chemical sciences so this is where what we have started and what we are doing and taking it forward in terms of the skilling capability of your student of our students as well as support staff thank you sir thank you thank you pandit sir thank you very much uh, let us uh, let us listen from the law university himanshu pandey aapko kuch kehna hai thank you sir for giving me opportunity honorable all the vice chairs to this uh, virtual platform this is a really been storming session where skills can in real sense uh, help to achieve employability in this area of globalization being law university sir as you know that our courses are especially ug courses are as per the uh, guidelines of bar council of india even in this uh, bar council of india prescribed syllabus there is importance of practical and experiential learning so sir for the bci we are following those guidelines but in addition to it we have started two three specific practices and there are certain program which are in pipeline first sir we have this uh, four months uh, mandatory internship for all students you this is a uh, six week in uh, six week in one semester for all law students with uh, the advocates chamber or in uh, the with the internship with the high court supreme court judges and clerkship it is kept mandatory and sir this national law university nagpur has started one specific program especially for this uh, future judges of this country this is blllb honors in adjudication and justicing so sir the more orientation of this program is towards uh, practical aspects of the judges how do they experience the judicial activities in adjudication sir sir apart from this thing we are trying to take up our legal knowledge out of this professional box and we want to cater the in rural areas we are having a bare knowledge or very minimal knowledge of law how people can use for their bread and butter like sir we are planning to introduce one certificate course on insurance law these in insurance sector insurance market how just 12 past uh, adults can make their career in the field of insurance we have the center for corporate law insurance and special things are like this uh, income tax return but for filing income tax return it does not require very high tech legal knowledge so a kind of basic substantial knowledge knowledge of bear provisions one can be skilled to file income tax return gst returns in day to day life we need 
to have legal compliances where advocates are not required simply somebody is acquainted with the legal compliances like drafting of uh, agreements so for drafting of agreements in a specific field or sector it does not require expert from the field of law so sir we are planning to introduce some courses where the minimum in uh, this uh, eligibility shall be 10th or 12th class only on the basis of the basic learning of law we will try to develop this legal skills and sir one of our mou as a uh, uh, joshi sir is already aware is in a pipeline we want to uh, introduce a program to have a minimum legal learning and awareness to all teachers in higher education maharashtra so sir we are working on this uh, uh, course outline and as the earliest uh, in consultation with uh, this uh, msfda we will come up with that capsule course also sir this is all from my thank you yes yeah. thank you thank you much thank you very much uh, shall we shall we invite uh, vice chancellor of tiss university shalini madam <clears throat> yeah yeah please Good afternoon and uh, i join all my colleagues to uh, compliment uh, professor fadnavis uh, of solapur university to really uh, do such a marvelous job in the skill field and to show very clearly what the outcomes are and who uh, this whole program is impacting and the uh, it's very heartening to note that uh, you know the the 12th standard pass which is uh, you know at the entry stage uh, and at the end of it one year or six months program certificate or diploma uh, they are able to actually uh, you know earn uh, and most importantly as you said uh, prevent this migration uh you know from uh, a, a a city which is quite uh, you know well known for textile used to be so well known for textile and many other industries uh you know unnecessarily moving out and spending so much money and so much you know uh, efforts uh, in studying uh, outside the uh, uh, solapur town uh, so i'm very very uh, you know uh, happy to hear the kind of contribution um i'd like to say that uh, you know at tiss also we have made some very um impactful uh, you know uh, start in the skilling field uh, somewhere some few years back about 7 8 years back we started with uh, a school of vocational education uh, which is now uh, actually quite doing quite well uh, because we also like uh, professor fadnavi said we are also uh, you know catering to the needs and the demands of students uh, who would like to enter the field of employment Uh, rather than continue with a very long journey of higher education uh, so these are students who are 12th standard pass and we started very small uh, but today we have uh, almost about um, 32 uh, bachelor of vocational education program so it's not just a certificate diploma we have a bachelor of vocational three year uh, bachelor of vocational programs uh, 32 of these degree programs in 16 uh, sectors Uh, so just like uh, you said uh, we have uh, you know in the healthcare industry is the largest one uh, but we also have in automotive we have in agriculture we have in banking and finance and and so on uh, maybe at some point in time i would like to make a detailed presentation because it will take a lot of time uh, but what i would like to emphasize is that uh, you know the skill india movement the uh, skilling for employment uh what the government has uh, said and what uh, the prime minister has been emphasizing i think the universities have a very major role to play uh because you know we are uh, looking at the youth the young pool of the uh, uh, of the country and unless we skill them with credible education and with education which has uh, you know great uh, demand but also impact direct impact in their lives i think is very important i would also like to emphasize that the scale at which you work is quite big unlike the higher education you know in masters program or phd program the scale here you achieve is uh, much higher and can be you know done very quickly as well uh, but what we need is a very robust uh, academia industry connect i'm happy to say that we have more than 3000 uh, you know industry connects and we are pan india kind of a thing Uh, but it is possible for uh, you know universities like uh, yours and all other universities to really uh, look at their own neighborhood or in their own communities and hold that community uh, you know with a good support uh, and we all have the uh, goodwill of the community and i'm sure uh, young people uh, would find universities so much more 
interesting and uh, attractive if they know where they are going to be uh, ending after uh, you know so i because there are so many other things to be said i don't want to take more time and i just want to also say two more things one is that we also have a uh, very um, i think happening center for social entrepreneurship so it's not just entrepreneurship it's social entrepreneurship we have an incubation center and this uh, center is also part of the bayrak uh, and the third thing that i would like so there are many things that are happening at that center at that uh, entrepreneurship level also which i could share at some point in time uh, and the other which i just wanted to say that we are almost in your neighborhood as you know the with the tuljapur rural campus uh, where we have uh, some interesting programs and so on and some maybe i think there should be some deeper level of engagement uh with sulapur university now that the nep uh, 2020 is all about partnerships and collaborations uh, we want to take this uh, forward and uh, for that i would probably meet you at some point in time thank you very much thank you thank you thank you, you. charanya yeah. madam i think you have a center at tuljapur right yes we have a yeah. campus yes. right. I'm, 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 i i have visited that center uh, that yeah. will be a so good madam, kind of thing that you can have a collaboration madam yes. uh, can i yes. come in madam Yes. Yes. I think it is a very good idea uh, that once you go contextual and in a small chunks, which is yeah. needed to the society, uh, mm -hmm. things can change. Now, all universities are talking about graduation, post graduation, and PhD, but I think if you go contextual and local and give them yeah. some sense of what is done. So, what I suggest to this forum that every university must be doing on the basis of their context. something why can't we pool everything what yeah. is been done and try to try to analyze what has worked and then uh, give some pointers so that every uh, i think we have heard uh, the stalwarts so why can't we uh, exchange these thoughts between the universities so that uh, we can take this skilling movement forward because many yes. times it is said uh, the skill is for failures i don't think so Oh, I think yeah. skills for everyone. No, those who are eleven pa, eleven fail, ten, uh, not ten pass, they should go for skilling. I think probably uh, we need to think of how we induct in our own curriculums, and what are the means and ways all these vice chancellors are doing the experiments in the contextual nature. Probably we can pool everything together and then think of uh, sharing it with all, saying that this this has worked, this has not worked. so don't go this path can we go on this path and crystallize something which becomes some guidelines to our universities to go uh, take this skilling uh, movement forward i think that can be a wonderful outcome of this kind of an exercise which is i think uh, fantastically going on because mm -hmm. everyone has done something which is extraordinary so let us pull this all extraordinary together and give a thrust so that uh, we can work together i think that's that's my thought when i heard madam so uh, i i think we will take this initiative as a uh, msfd and rusa so that uh, we can pull it together thank you yes thank you thank you vijay ji sir shall we invite uh, vinay deshpande ji deshpande sir tumhi aat ka raisun university vice chancellor deshpande sir oh oh aaye aaye bilkul tumcha aikto hai sir please please yes yes mala maithe deshpande देशपांडे सरांनी रुरल सेगमेंट मध्ये जे काम केले ते खरोखरच उत्कृष्ट आहे आणि जेव्हा आम्ही त्यांच्याशी चर्चा करत होतो तेव्हा आम्हाला रिअलाइज झालं की त्यांचा सुद्धा एक जो कॉन्टेक्शुअल अप्रोच आहे तो आम्हाला नेहमी आवडतो देशपांडे सर प्लीज वील लाईक टू हिअर थँक्यू सर थँक्यू सो मच सर थँक्यू फॉर गिव्हिंग मी दिस ऑपॉर्च्युनिटी आय मस्ट कॉन्ग्रॅच्युलेट डॉक्टर मृणालिनी फडणवीस मॅडम अँड हर एंटायर टीम फॉर दी एफर्ट्स दे मेड इन ऑर्डर टू इंट्रोड्यूस दिस स्किल डेव्हलपमेंट कोर्सेस and uh, i appreciate the idea of uh, shalini bharat madam also that how we can have connectivity with uh, the different universities so that we will be able to learn something new out of it sir let me tell you this is our uh, private university and we have introduced some courses and then uh, in another 2 minutes i will just share my experience that what is happening to the courses when they complete and what are the problems they are facing that also i think are important to understand when we talk about the skill development courses we have cognitive skill development courses then technical and vocational skill development courses and social and behavioral skills that is how we have classified these skill development courses 
and then we allotted these courses to the various departments depending on the core programs they are running like when we talk about the technical and vocational skill development courses we expect that these students they should perform some specific task and for that we have introduced the additional course for mechanical engineering as 3d printing product development course and this course is becoming quite popular because uh, there we find the it's a modern manufacturing technique and rapid prototype kind of activities and therefore this course we have introduced in our university apart from this sir we have python program cyber security under law uh, school then we have financial analyst course which we have introduced for 6 months so this financial analyst course will help the students not only for the social sciences but for engineering students to know how the uh, financial aspects can be analyzed and our experience is engineering students they are in a position to pick up the technicalities involved in the financial development in a quick manner and they are doing it quite well then we have web development courses and then cyber law is the course which we have introduced like this uh, the experience of our university is that students are responding to it then apart from that we have some courses relating to textile industries because amravati is the place where we have textile hub and textile industries are going very fast so we have introduced designing courses and other courses for the students now the last point which i would like to make relating to the skill development courses sir like after completing the course when they start their own entrepreneurship or when they uh, start some business many a times the difficulty which they are facing is about the social aspect is about the social realization is about the social identity yes, sir bolal tumhi na and therefore what i okay. suggest that in order to make these courses more glamorous in order to add prestige these courses after completing the course i think other university or some institute they must be with them for example like we have plumbers and suppose they complete the course like plumbing many a times the difficult electrical engineering many a times the difficulty is society won't accept them and they won't give considerable uh, kind of identity to these people and therefore uh, big companies they can have a association or university can have a direct association for example jaguar is the company which is quite famous so if they consider that these are the people and they are certified by these companies or by the universities then i think that we will be able to provide the skill development courses and we will be able to put some glamour and some kind of prestige in it sir our experience relating to itis is students joining itis or student joining skill development courses in general society consider that these are the students those who are not doing well and therefore they are joining these courses and therefore after completing the courses i think the responsibility lies with the university with the institute and then we have to think about that when we want that these people should start their own business and when they should become entrepreneur then i think our not be over just by providing the course and the program but our job needs to be continued when they start their own program and for that some mous need to be signed with the university industry and the person concerned that is my humble suggestion sir we can think about it but thank you so much for giving me this opportunity thank you thank you thank you very much sir respond sir thank you very much like invite dilip malkade sir vice chancellor of sant gadge baba amravati university sir please uh, good good morning everyone uh, thank you very much for this opportunity and let me first of all congratulate uh, dr munulanili padanvis madam for uh, giving a wonderful presentation i'm really impressed by the number of the courses that you madam you are running for last 5 years 5 6 years and uh, your team and you as a vice chancellor deserves congratulations 
Oh, we at Amravati University, of course, are running many short-term courses uh, in each of the department. They have their own strengths and based on their strengths and facilities that they have, they're running the courses for last many years. Uh, but uh, I have a dream of starting more, I mean, large number of courses, not only in the university department, but, but in the affiliated colleges like you have started. Because we alone cannot do it and we are already shortage of the faculty members. There are some courses which are high-tech courses. There are some low-tech courses. But to start a business, I think low-tech courses are really very useful. And high-tech courses, of course, will produce the students or the candidates who are, which are useful for the industries which are mostly located in Pune and Mumbai uh, cities. Uh, there is a department in each of the university which is lifelong learning department and they also run a large number of courses, but uh, this needs to be enhanced like MATLAB and Simulink, we have CAD CAM and some manufacturing, uh, you know, uh, courses also we have, for which supplies the manpower to the local industries. But uh, more than this, what I feel is like you have done, outsourcing it to the affiliated colleges and outsourcing to the uh, trainers he is the right model for all of us. Madam, uh, uh, this is what I would like to, you know, share what we do, but I have more, you know, questions. And uh, there are six, seven, and therefore kind of a quick answers I will expect from you if you could write it down and give answers to all the questions in, yes, yes. Uh, you know, one go, that would be better. Number one, uh, do you have integration of these courses with the curriculum that we offer to regular students. That's one. Is there any integration of that? Because NEP talks about vocationalization, uh, this one. Second is, how did you find the trainers and whom you have signed MOUs with broadly? Who are these people? Uh, are they locals or they are, uh, you know, uh, from other cities like Mumbai and Pune. That's another question. Se third question is, uh, is this certification useful for the students to get the bank loan because it is under the banner of the university? Uh, is this useful? Are there a good number of examples uh, with you? Oh, then that will be really encouraging. Uh, was this certification also useful to get the land from your MIDC? Okay, to start their businesses. Uh, this, uh, this is third question. So bank loan and land is the third question. Uh, next, fourth, that is fourth question. Where do they stay? They may not, they may be from coming from, you know, small villages and they go to a college at the district level or taluka level. What is the arrangement? What are the difficulties that you faced? Was there any request? from the students that they need accommodation. And uh, the challenges that you may you might have faced, same challenges we are also likely to face. Fifth question is, uh, is there any regulation uh, from UGC or other regulatory body in this regard? Uh, are we following those regulations? Are we allowed to you make use of our logo, our uh, you know, banner for these courses. And uh, last question, that is sixth question. Where do you pay the salaries to these people, Dr. Jaktab and uh, other two members? So salary part. So these are the six questions, madam. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and, and also seventh question. Yeah, are there possibilities of having very, very short term courses, like one week? Your minimum, you know, the shortest possible course is three months, then six months and one year. There must be a requirement of, you know, of taking a course or offering a course with a one week duration, two week duration. One of the six, seven questions I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, madam. I think I Yes, of course, madam, you can answer because this is what is required. Yes. It's an interaction yeah, yeah. which is required. And yeah, he, yeah. Are, he is asking very, very pertinent questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think how you have maneuvered through these questions because every vice chancellor will be having this question in mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah should please. I start? Yeah. Yeah, please. Huh. 
So the integration of courses is your first question. Yes, uh, we are integrating these courses as I have in the last slide, I have told you that uh, now with the semesters, we have made a blend and uh, we have also incorporated with the uh, BOS, Board of Studies, that how it can uh, become a part and parcel of the regular system. So that type of integration we have started from 2019. And some of the results, which is as I have given you the example of Barshi uh, College that has come in a, in a nice way, I should say. And uh, about the MOU and trainers you have asked, yes, so for that, they, uh, we have, as I have also told in one of the slides, those who have completed their registration, they have good resources, they have uh, good volunteers, local trainers, whatever they have. On that basis, we are giving permission. Uh, any uh, thing which is coming to us, we have to scrutinize first that how this uh, particular section can run the course and after and, uh, taking all the cognizance, we uh, can allow few courses where they have experts and trainers. And somewhere, as you have very rightly said, sir, some issues may arise because you, you have to take training from, say, from a different uh, city like Hyderabad or something like that. So in that also, we have uh, tried to arrange online so that students can take advantage of this. But that is in the form of guest lecturers or the guest trainers. Then another is uh, you have related to the loan. Yes, sir. This is uh, actually um, uh, because of the time I thought we will uh, take into the discussion is very important question. Uh, yes, we have approached different uh, banks like when we are running handloom uh, sort of uh, activity that is a six months course. And in that municipal corporation of Solapur was also involved with us. So we asked them to take like uh, this uh, threefold uh, type of arrangement uh, that uh, municipal corporation can also intervene, some banks can also come and some students, those who are really in need of some loan, can we give them the loan? So the answer was yes, only bank will not uh, dilute its formalities that we have to understand. There are some issues, they will have to stick upon the different security features and whatever the things they want to do it. But according to with, the, uh, with all these uh, issues, if we can go, it is okay, they are ready to give. This was the idea. Then, uh, yes, land for MIDC, sir, we have not so thought so far, because that we have to consider. But one example I can give you that uh, we have talked with MSME. MSME Aurangabad, MSME uh, Nagpur, and MSME, that, that is the central uh, ministry. When uh, uh, some uh, people, those who are working very hard for MSME, they said that uh, if in your university you can provide a land to us or some infrastructure, some machines we will give you uh, like a free of cost, some training will, uh, will, be, uh, will be given free of cost. So all MOU has been done along with such type of solar solar panels or the solar charkas uh, for this particular thing. So land not outside we have tried, but inside with all free facilities, we, we have started this, but only because of Corona period, it has been delayed, but we got the 25 lakhs rupees first stroke for the development of solar, uh, uh, this you can say charkas. And uh, maybe in uh, when it will be settled down, they will give another 25 lakhs. This was the agreement uh, given by the government. Then about the uh, rural uh, villages, students, those who are coming uh, to the university. And all the, yes, sir, there are uh, some issues, but I think in one of the slide, you must have uh, observed that uh, like uh, uh, for the nursing, we have some hostels and that hostels are uh, given to them free of cost with the help of CSR activity. So that type of arrangement we have done. Those who are uh, philanthropists, they are giving such type of benefits. I can understand, sir, all the students are not getting this benefit, but in some pockets, if they are getting, I think it is encouraging. And uh, in uh, we have some good hostels. Recently, it, uh, we have made one Adivasi uh, scheduled tribe hostel. And uh, in future, we are going to use for such type of students. And you are very right. This arrangement is supposed to be done. Otherwise, how it can be possible that in, we have sorted out with some of the uh, resources which we have. Then, uh, sir, about uh, the regulatory authority in UGC, sir, yes, we are following the all UGC norms as well as the national skill development uh, norms and on the 
basis of that only we have formulated whatever the autonomy we have. Then about the salary, so these are all those who are present over here. They are my permanent teachers. They will, they are uh, um, making all their efforts with uh, such a dedication. So, but yes, those who are teaching, the salary component is there. And uh, then uh, if the uh, MOU is between uh, say one uh, hospital and uh, the Solapa University, uh, the hospital will pay uh, the salary and uh, the other things like conduct of examination and uh, certification or whatever the help uh, needed from the university that we will give. So that is in the MOU. So in the short term, like even for the yoga centers, uh, that center even uh, sometimes we are also paying salary. Uh, to the yoga teacher as well as from the university, whatever the amount we are getting from the students' uh, fees and all that. So this is one thing. And, uh, and the last, I think you said uh, really ha, about oh, yeah one week courses. Sir, UGC have made it mandatory that at least three months course should be there. So it can be uh, accommodated in your NAC accreditation or, or in any, uh, you can say, uh, important accreditation body. So that will uh, have a count uh, in, uh, you can say, the, uh, what you can say, the grade, grade, I should say, the grade, it, it will have a count. So therefore we have, yes, sir, we can start and there is a demand. But there was a demand, I will tell you one, one small example in a minute and then I'll stop. Like uh, in a music uh, or at the tabla, there was a demand, Bhai, humko se din ka de do, bole, din ka training, one party came. We said, no, it's not possible. The practice should be taken for a longer period. So it should be for three months and it is based on the norms. But yes, as uh, you are very rightly said, some IT sector and for some like a small uh, vocational courses, they need uh, like one uh, month training or one week training that we have thought but we have not implemented so far because uh, at least some examination some practice should be there therefore we thought they should have at least three months with us so that was the no, idea otherwise no, no. Madam, said, uh, I agree. Thank, thank you, you. Uh, thank you so much madam uh, uh, honorable vice chancellor please uh, shalini madam can add if uh, she wants to add for this question please yeah, I think uh, what Professor Fadnavis has said is quite right. One is that uh, we need, uh, you know, um, proper uh, rules, etc., to be followed, uh, which is the UGC, because the students are, uh, you know, going to have these degrees and they should not be, you know, coming to any problem. So our courses are all aligned with the UGC. And since I said we have a three-year, you know, uh, BWOC, but we also have this, already have this exit, uh, you know, uh, clause that, if they exit within the first six months, they get a certificate. Then if they exit after one year, they get a diploma. If they exit after two years, I think they get an advanced diploma. And then the three year, if they stay, they get the BWOP degree. Uh, so this is very important. Uh, uh, the second problem, uh, you know, I'm not going in the, uh, in the sequence, but uh, finding, uh, you know, a hostel and uh, yeah, place to stay is very critical. Uh, that is where our partnerships, uh, as Professor Farnabis also said, uh, comes in. But I think uh, you are uh, more fortunate, Professor Farnabis, because you have a very big uh, campus, I know, and you also have um, a lot of, you know, built up area. Uh, in Mumbai, we are very short uh, for land as well as for all facilities. We are that way a very small campus, small university. Uh, but we have made arrangements now with partners. Uh, and also that we our courses are, I think, 40% classroom teaching and 60% in the industry. So they have to be uh, working on the shop floors and they are with, uh, you know, whichever industry they are. Uh, but for the period that they are with us, we have to arrange for um, their classrooms as well as their stay, uh, which is important. Uh, as far as the uh, support is given, uh, I think the students have to be uh, largely supported by stipends from the, uh, you know, industries. In some cases, they are not. Uh, where we try and support, but um, otherwise the students have to pay. Uh, and I forget your last question. Yes, you also asked about a short term. I think uh, small programs like, you know, 10 day, uh, a week day, a week program is possible, but uh, it is for, it will come under the professional development course, not really a certificate degree course, but it is possible and we do it. Um, a large number of such programs also uh, we are engaged in. 
Uh, the, uh, the most important question which he asked is about whether you can use a logo on these certificate courses. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Sir, I think as an autonomous uh, status for uh, academic autonomy, uh, we have, uh, of course, our university logo is there. That is also we have only formulated. Similarly, one more addition because this is a separate center and a huge number of students. So we have framed our own. Yes, we can use that logo. <clears throat> So the university logo, of course, but you are asking about which logo did you ask? I'm sorry. No, no. She, he, he is asking about whether for this courses, whether we can use a university logo. That was his question. Which yes, I... yes, because it's a degree course or whatever yeah. program you're doing is as part of your regular education program and skill development is also part of the mandate. Uh, so yes, of course, we use the this logo on that. And that is what gives credibility and lends. Exactly. Uh, Exactly. Important, a very important uh, point which was brought by Deshpande sir, that all these menial courses, how can we bring glamour? I think that was a very critical question. We don't get people to serve us, uh, but then uh, the graduation glamour is not with these courses. And I think that's very pertinent and important question. I, I would say that, you know, I would not say um, it's, it is important. I would not say it's glamorous. I would say, yes, dignity has to be given. So once we give you know, dignity to all courses and the fact that larger universities are bringing skill development and skilling into their ambit, that is the first level to recognize that uh, this is uh, any other course. And uh, regardless of where the students come from, this is uh, these degree courses are to be considered very important. One more important thing I would like to add is that uh, all our programs are uh, you know, informed to the UGC and they are, they are listed on the UGC portal, uh, maybe because of our degree programs. So that is very important. A very important point about, uh, you know, I don't know, glamorous or what, but dignity is uh, that you must be able to have uh, MOU, some agreement with an industry partner, uh, whether it is uh, in the health sector, whether it is the automotive industry, that is, I think, very important not just from the point of view of making sure that the students or at least ensuring some placement and which happens uh, to a large degree if there is an industry partner, uh, but also to give that kind of dignity. And that's what's uh, drawing students to these programs. And if you can bring yes. yeah, Yeah, madam, yeah. Just one minute, I want to add uh, to what uh, Madam says right now. Uh, I think glamour comes uh, along with uh, the recognition you are getting in the society. So like uh, I can give the example of like acupressure when uh, in Corona period or non-Corona period, anything you can say, even for the uh, textile and other areas, when you're recognized by some uh, person from the community, then definitely people will say that this is a very important sector and they respect you. I think that is the strength of uh, these courses and it is happening that uh, in uh, many areas like uh, in uh, allied health science, if we are uh, associated with such type of nutritionist as well as the uh, yoga teachers and all that they are paying respect to them rather they are in a huge demand so this is whatever the name you can give you can give a glamour i think it's like a uh, maybe whatever people are thinking but not related to the glamour i feel it is the vision they are getting and the recognition they are getting from the uh, society that is much more important they are they are being honored and that's why they want to associate with the university status so that in future they can also have a better recognition in coming years. Yes, yes, of course. I think you have used the right word, how to give a dignity. Thank you. Can I just say <laughs> one more thing here? Please, please, madam, uh, go ahead. Yeah, uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, it's very important for the university to uh, promote and put these uh, skill development courses as yet another type of degree courses. Because if the university gives, uh, you know, same kind of importance by, uh, you know, if you are advertising in the local newspapers, uh, please put up, you know, saying that this is a skill development courses that this university is putting up. And when you are doing, uh, you know, uh, distribution of degrees, uh, we do a special confirmant degrees, you know, program. That is the, there is a convocation that happens for the uh, School of Vocational Education because these numbers are, these numbers are bigger than our regular yeah. program. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. 
Yeah. I agree. So we yeah. do a convocation program. It is, uh, you know, sort of spoken about. We in, uh, invite industry partners. Uh, so, you know, they know that this university is giving uh, importance uh, and due recognition to these courses. Students feel nice. Parents feel nice. Uh, and otherwise, uh, you know, uh, what you talk about uh, dignity, uh, I think really is an important thing. And we are trying our best to say that all these courses are, uh, you know, lending a certain importance and a dignity to all types of, you know, uh, uh, skill, uh, skilling programs in all sectors. As I said, we have about 16 or to 18 sectors. Uh, I don't have all the details with me right now, but maybe. <laughs> Anything. Thank you. Thank you for this Thank intervention, you. Madam. Thank you for the intervention. I think you have given ways in which we can provide a dignity. Given equal status, do a, uh, all kind of a same thing as we, do, we are doing in a degree and associated with uh, industry. Thank you very much. I think I will uh, request uh, Assistant Registrar of Somaya Vidya Vihar University. If he is there, probably Somaya is also doing some kind of a courses. If we will take two minutes and then we will... Uh, Somaya Vidya Vihar, Assistant Registrar, can you come in, please? Malota, sir, Bhotik Pencha Parenta Maza Awaz Zat Nai Hai. Nai Hai, Bhotik Nai Hai, Nai Hai, Dishat Nai Hai. Over to Pabregar, sir, yes. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, thank you to all. Anybody having anything to be added? Last single minute, and then we'll invite Anju Upal, madam. Yeah, please, Umanchu, only single minute. Thank you, sir. So thank you, sir. Sir, this was a really uh, wonderful discussion which Shalini Madam and uh, uh, Mrinali Madam has focused upon. I wish to add on only one thing that uh, while uh, designing such kind of program, we should try to identify skill deficiency in the respective areas and skill demands. And accordingly, we should identify the skill gaps. Because as the discussion was going on in the light of uh, how to give the visibility of the respective program. If we can more focus on skill gaps and skill deficiency in the respective area, it would automatically give the visibility to this respective program. That's it from my side. Sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you all. And now I invite uh, Anju Upal. Madam, please, from your side. Yeah. She is, she is the joint director of our MSFDA and she has taken this charge just a one month back. Uh, she would like to communicate something to you. Madam, please. Yeah. Thank you so much, Pabrekarji. And uh, congratulations to Dr. Mrinalni Fadnavis for this excellent uh, presentation, which actually provoked a lot of discussion and sharing amongst all the other who are part of this uh, meeting. Uh, hello to all of you. Uh, to begin with, uh, Maharashtra State Faculty Development Academy, if I can just give a very, very broad overview, uh, we are looking at uh, seven important aspects as part of uh, enriching learning processes for students and uh, higher education institutions. One that we are talking about is inclusion and diversity as one of our core areas of work. Uh, we are also looking into multidisciplinarity learning as another area and approach that we want to bring in to all the learning spheres for higher education. We are looking into leadership development and assessment and evaluation mechanisms that today exist and what more needs to be done in that area. And we are going to be creating resource centers, which will one, of course, we will have in our office in Pune where we are based, but we would also be you know, collaborating with a lot of other institutions so that information and resources is also locally available for students, for faculty, and for all who are linked with higher education institutions. And then we are, of course, looking at cutting edge and innovation as, as one of the other important areas where link, and in all of these programs, uh, the approach that we are following is bringing in institutions and organizations which have been working in this sphere for a long while. They bring in the expertise. We bring in our connections and our understanding of how we look at education from the policy as an umbrella to it and also in terms of what is the larger purpose of education. The important values that we would want to inculcate through this entire process of collaboration with different partners, we are looking at creating learning opportunity, opportunities and environment, which is more collaborative, 
which recognizes that diversity and inclusion of all is a very, very important element in multidisciplinary approach to learning where we are not creating silos of different kinds, whether it is related to any domains or also the entire engagement that you have been discussing about skills and learning and degrees and diplomas. You know, there are a lot of hierarchies that exist in society and one needs to really look at all of it more as a learning space where, of course, one finds source of livelihood, whether it is through jobs or through your own entrepreneurship. But the other important thing is what is my purpose of being a human being and coming to existence here and what is the larger purpose that I can contribute to the society that we are part of to look at questioning the violent and non-peaceful mechanisms that are getting into our society, one. And second is we have all still recovering from the entire COVID situation. So which way are we moving? And what way do we want to move? What kind of life we want to live and what kind of ecology do we want to create? These are the larger issues and concerns that we carry and we are trying to bring in different collaborators who will you know, pitch in their bit to make a complete understanding of it. So at present, we, we have a uh, tie up with uh, initiatives for change from Panchagani, who are looking into ethical leadership as one of the important core areas. We have tied up with Vishwakarma University to look into innovation, cutting edge technology, and you know, creating centers of excellence. When we are talking about innovation and cutting edge technology, here I would just like to bring in this important element of not looking at cutting edge and innovation very, very specific to industry or product based only or science only, because we feel that arts and commerce also has a lot of scope for cutting edge. And how do we bring in all of these components together and not just isolate innovation and cutting edge with only one aspect of learning and uh, market. The other thing, of course, as part of this entire thing, again, innovation and entrepreneurship is something that we are tying up with the uh, Institute of Chemical Technology. And then looking at the pedagogical uh, aspects of learning, we have tie up with ICER, who is looking into science and maths pedagogy. We will be soon initiating our program with Symbiosis, which is looking into techno pedagogy and andragogy for active learning. And then, so this is one aspect of the entire thing. Now we are also looking at not just faculties who need to be trained, like even if we are being called as a state faculty development uh, academy, but we understand for, for an enriched learning to happen, apart from faculty, the entire institution plays a very important role. And there is also a lot of thing that we need to intervene in where peer to peer learning is possible because we look at institutions as spaces which are safe for everybody to come in and which are spaces for teaching, non-teaching staff, students and all other parents also who are part of it. So there are certain programs where we are looking, we are going with an institutional approach. So we are looking at Pragnya Parishar, uh, Parisar as one of the other programs, which will be initiated by Institute for Psychological Health. Now here one is looking at this entire emotional support system that is important for any learning to happen or you know, the risk taking behavior, but also having a critical thinking ability to make right choices and right decisions. So one is looking at that. Now to be able to do make these kind of decisions, it's also important that we have rational thinking and scientific temperament coming in. So we will we are tying up with uh, Mukta Dabolkar to look into these aspects. We have Parivartan organization who will come in here again with an institutional approach of working with peer to peer to create emotionally safe spaces for children, for, for students, I shouldn't be calling them children. And then importantly, we are also looking at bringing in Xavier's resource center for visually challenged to bring in how learning can be made relevant and it is possible to create learning experience for visually challenged with all other students who are part of the university by bringing in simple important things that can enable an environment for a visually challenged person and other children to come together and learn. 
then gender sensitization is another important aspect that we are looking at so creating safe spaces for learning for women and girls and we are tying up with sndt university to look into this and then importantly we are tying up with jj school of arts to look into how arts can add a lot of value to life and learning whether we are part of science streams or skill development whether di di diploma courses or degree courses how arts is important in our life and in our learning and how we need to recognize and create space for that and we are soon going to also initiate the uh, we are tying up and uh, working with the hrdc ugc mumbai to look into faculty induction program where you know we will be part of this entire module development which is a five week long process so all of these programs one uh, so we have residential programs it will be offline programs it is online programs depending on the need depending on the relevant of which kind of medium can enable the best learning possible and and this is all about the kind of initiatives that we have here and i give it back to paprikar ji to take thank you it. thank you anju madam thank you very much before i invite vijay joshi sir i would like to just ask uh, the, the who will be the next uh, uh, organizer for the chai pe charcha sarani madam who will be the next host it's yeah. open to all yeah we could uh, do it at this uh, what what will be the date because sometimes first, first april or 8 april first april is if you don't want to make april full to anybody <laughs> first uh, it is first friday normally first friday i think it is first april or if it is not convenient 8 april i'll have to check and let you know can i just uh, do that yes please, yes please, yes madam yes yes ma yes, yes sure, sure. yeah i'll uh, i'll yes. find out the schedule and uh, Um, sure, sure, ma'am. Yeah, 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 sure, 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 madam. Uh, may I invite Vijay Joshi sir? You want to say something? No, so thanks. Please, uh, I I will only say big thank you to uh, Murunali madam and all others who have contributed to this particular thing. I think the uh, we have to change the way we look at the skill and skill education, and probably this can be a good precursor to the policy change which we are trying to envisage in future. uh thank you for all contributions which are made there were relevant discussion which happened we have captured the discussion and let us uh, come up with something uh tangible which can be used by all the universities in uh, in their department thank you so much for joining with us uh, and giving your very spacious time and i think we are yeah. going to make it more and more uh, important so thank this you very much vinay this point is thank you sir for the next meeting to me which i should thank you so much हाँ सर पूछा विचार तुम ही करू शकता ऑर्गेनाइज इट इज नॉट दैट वी आर गोइंग ओनली फॉर स्टडी न्यू सिटीज इवन वी आर ऑल टूगेदर थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर स्पेरिंग युअर वैल्युएबल टाइम थैंक यू टू ऑल थैंक यू थैंक्स उद्या बिकॉज वी आर होस्ट टूडे जस्ट हाफ मिनिट सर या our provisional stay yeah uh, yeah namaskar dignity is present here uh, for uh, monthly brainstorming session uh, facilitated through the rusa government of uh, maharashtra mumbai uh, puneshlok adar hokar solapur solapur has organized today's uh, session on the topic skills as life plan for community we are pleased and grateful to rusa for uh, providing the platform for this brainstorming feast among the academic institutions i'm here to, to deliver the uh, vote of thanks uh, for this monthly brainstorming uh, session first of all i would like to extend my sincere thanks to dr nipun vinayak state road director for encouraging us to organize the event via online uh, platform i sincerely thank honorable vice chancellor dr munani fernandes of puneshlok adhokar solapur solapur for sparing her valuable time with us and motivating the academicians through the this uh, brainstorming session on skill as a lifeline for the community i will heartily thank all vice chancellors of state and deep universities in actively participating in the brainstorming session my sincere thanks to dr rupal madam ms fda joint director rusa 
डॉक्टर पी एन पाबरेकर एंड डॉक्टर विजय जोशी सर सीनियर कंसल्टंट रुसा महाराष्ट्र फॉर गाइडिंग अस इन ऑर्गेनाइजिंग द इवेंट सक्सेसफुल माय सिंसियर थैंक्स टू रुसा कॉर्डिनेटर्स ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटीज फॉर देयर वैल्यूएबल प्रेजेंस इन द टुडे सेशन पण थैंक द टेक्निकल टीम ऑफ द पी एच सोलापुर यूनिवर्सिटी डॉक्टर प्रभाकर कोडेकर डॉक्टर जगताप डॉक्टर राउत डॉक्टर गाडी डॉक्टर लड्डा who put the efforts in smooth conducting uh, this uh, session with this word i wish and uh, hope all of you have enjoyed the brainstorming session and uh, looking for betterment of our academy with the kind permission of the president i declare that brainstorming session is over thank you very much thank you thank you thank you madam thank you very much thank you thank you very much thank you thank you sir thank you thank you